Hello and welcome to Simply Beautiful Sourdough. I'm Nancy Ann. Today I'm going to be freehanding a flower on a batard. Alrighty, so some stats on this loaf. This is about 500 grams of flour. It is 70% hydration. So I bumped my hydration about 5% up from my normal. It is 20% starter and 20% of the flour is whole wheat and uh, my regular 2.5% salt. This is actually not my starter. This again is Bread Pit, who is Hendrick off of the Bread Codes starter. Uh, I'm doing another test run with it, and so that's why we bumped up to 70% hydration to see how it handles that. Alrighty, so let's get going with the scoring. This uh, again is my Bread Sling by Bread Basics. I'll have a link down below. If you use my code 10, simply 10, you will save 10% off of the cost of the bread sling. Shipping's about $7, and I think it comes out to under $25 for the, uh, for the bread sling, but you'll save that 10% with my code. I love this thing. So I'm flipping it out. Please don't stick, loaf. Oh, we're doing pretty good. Ah, uh, my... Uh, my bulk fermentation is getting better. I'm just gonna brush that off with my hands. There's not hardly any rice flour on there from the, from the banneton, and we're gonna give it a spray with water. Just get it damp so that our rice flour will stick. This is gonna be another one where I coat it with rice flour or else you won't be able to see the design. Just gonna let that soak in for a second there while I dry my hands. Walker is walking around underfoot. Okay, and my husband, by the way, is holding the camera. We were hoping it might work a little better this way. And I'm just gonna sprinkle bread flour all over it very liberally. This is gonna get brushed off uh, before I put it in the Dutch oven, by the way. I can see this spreading out with that extra 5% hydration. It has been in the refrigerator overnight. Okay, I'm gonna start with the dull end of my skewer, as always, I'm going to draw my ear line so I know where to start with my design. I'm going to make, I think I'll just do a center of the flower like this. Now my loud dog is getting a drink of water and I'm going to freehand some petals out here. I think this is going to wind up looking like a sunflower. We'll see. Spring is around the corner and I'm ready for some springy designs. A lot of people can just start with the razor blade on this. I admire them. That is not me. Okay, and I'm going to do another row of petals right here. And I think over here, I'm just gonna take and maybe make some leaves going up. Just freehand a leaf or two in there. I don't know if I'll do that one or not. And on this side, I'm also gonna freehand some leaves. Although I have a feeling a lot of this is gonna get pushed down with oven spring. We'll see how that goes. I'm going to use my UFO Lom as always. I'm sorry about the shadows. And I'm gonna start with my flower. Hmm. It's always hard to figure out where to put my hand in relation to the camera so that I can still see what I'm doing. So let's carve in some petals. Going very light on this. I don't want this to pick up tension.
the benefits of having someone holding the camera. I did not put that flower where I had where I had drawn it. I wish I would have, but it's okay. Somebody will eat it and destroy the evidence, like I always say. And now we're going to go and hit the in-between petals, peeking out from behind. That one I cut over, so that's going to show probably when oven spring hits. And we'll do one more right here. Not really sure how well that will be seen, but we can try. And let me carve a couple of little. Oh, we'll go like this. Do a light line down the middle with some lines. Basically, that's a wheat stalk I'm doing down the middle there. We'll do another one. Light line down the middle. Light line down the middle. Make sure this goes that way. Okay, now I'm going to go to the other side, and I'm just going to cut some leaves in here, kind of like I had drawn. I can freehand this a little more. Sorry, that my hand's going to block that for a minute. I'm so sorry about that. All right, and now light line down the middle. There are times when you need to have a real delicate touch in sourdough, and this is one of them. Walker is right underfoot. Okay, and now I'm going to do my ear. Time to cut the ear. I'm going in as deep as I can. And I'm going to make sure... because I want this ear to take up all of the tension so it doesn't pull these apart. With the tension going this way, it could split these uh, petals and leaves. So I want to make sure this ear is nice and deep. Okay, push it like that, give it a little help. I'm going to put it in the Hot Dutch oven, bake it 25 minutes, and we'll see you at the Dutch oven reveal. Let's see how oven spring affected our flour loaf. Did it destroy it or enhance it? it? Oh, that looks good. For the most part, my ear could still use more work, but I think it's looking pretty good. Um, the flour split a little bit there. That's no big deal. It's still largely intact, even though it has a split there. Our little leaves look like leaves. That's a good thing. Let's turn around to the ear side. I have a hard time getting a flat belly and a very lifted ear, but the oven spring is beautiful and I can tell the starter's working well. And then we've got our little leaves are clearly leaves here on the bottom. So I'm going to lift this out by the handles of the bread sling, set it on the cookie sheet, put it back in the oven for about another 20, 25 minutes until it's as brown as I like and we will see you with the final bake. If you could take just a split second to give this video a like, comment down below with any questions or anything you wanna say. I love comments, and if you found this valuable or would like to, please subscribe. I get a little thrill every time someone new subscribes. Now let's talk about our 20% whole wheat loaf made with bread pit. <laughs> There's our little leaves. I think all in all this turned out nice. This is uh, going to be given to a friend who is recovering from surgery. And there's the other side. Looks a lot better once some color comes in, doesn't it? And our four little leaves here. So there we go. It's our 
random flour loaf. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch. Bye-bye and be blessed. Thank you.